Waterhouse need to win. We have one of the biggest crowd support. Waterhouse football team is always my team. Forever. Hey, welcome to Waterhouse. With over 10,000 inhabitants, Waterhouse is one of Kingston's largest inner city communities. It is also the former home of the King of Dancehall, Beanie Man, and of track star Shellyan Fraser, the 100 meters Beijing Olympics champion. I love Waterhouse. I could never move on from Waterhouse. Why always we say no? Dubbed Firehouse by many, it is also the home of the Waterhouse Football Club, a club which in 1979 took over from the Great West FC as the community's standard bearer. Since its inception, Waterhouse has produced several successful football teams and has grown to become the club with the largest fan base. My name is Jennifer. I'm a former Waterhouse player, female, and um, Waterhouse is my side. Major achievement over the years. We won the Major League, which is a parish league. Then we were promoted to the Premier League in 1997. We won the Premier League in 1997-98. We again repeated this feat in 2005-2006. During those few years, we also won a few All-Island knockout and also some Confederation knockout. We have had major players playing for the club who have gone on to play for the national Premier for the national team. Kevin Lehman, the striker you earlier saw. Damian Powell, Irvino, English. Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson, who's running up to hit the ball straight into the wall. It comes back out to Blair. Blair lobs it back into the Waterhouse Football the Community. Here, Boris outside. Johnson uh, was born and raised in the community. Uh, resided at 23 Bins Road. I mean, uh, the football itself, I mean, playing on the turf uh, without a mini stadium, I mean, it was a bit of a rough toss. I mean, not having the facilities that you need in order to prepare you for a season and all that. Midfield with, with our Barney. Football is a lifeline because a lot of these players look to the football to show what skills they have, the commitment that is given to the, to the community. So overall, the football serves a major purpose. What those football communities are accustomed to one thing, they always want to win. Entire team, Barney! What talking about? One of the most striking features of Water House is the sandy gully. The gully divides the community into almost two equal halves. This is Jamaica's largest wastewater drainage system. And in Waterhouse, some residents use the gully for garbage disposal and as a major borderline in times of gang violence. No, sir, everybody, everybody equal now, everybody has come a match now. One at a time of the past, so people are fighting against them, what I know, but no one come, but now it's legal, every man has come a match. Waterhouse is a community fighting to overcome some of its social and economic ills. You know, a lot of people who are like you who are suffering the same way, of your age. Some of, but some of them bit on me, so for them I get people from foreign, and people are foreign get money, I say. For me, not nobody. If somebody give him a little food right now, it don't make no sense because sometimes we can't even find it for ourselves. We live in a society of have and have nots. We need to restructure the economy, we need to increase employment especially youth who have too much free time. My name is Abigail James, and uh, I compete in the SA competition last year, and uh, I placed first, 
and I get a laptop. As the conversation is about how can I change my community to make it better, these are some of the things I wrote in my essay. Um, talk about positive things and keep a, um, as, um, spelling, spelling bee competition because I know the children can do better in school if, if their parents sit down with them and help them out when they come from school in the evening and to keep sports and socialize with others. Here, high unemployment, low literacy rates, deplorable living conditions, crime and violence all combine to strangle the growth and development of the community. Can Waterhouse overcome the most pressing of these challenges? And does it have any of the things needed to pull and to hold the community together? Does Waterhouse have any common goals and interests? Yes, it does. And football is one of them. In Waterhouse, the people are passionate about football. When I come to football, what violence done? When Sunday come and I see no ball, come like me turn it down. Waterhouse is the best side in a Digicel Premier League. Win, draw or lose, fire all the way. Win at any cost. When you win, you're king. Plenty of people, all who never used to come here, start to come in the community. And the football. For the community itself, it has always been the greater force to unite the community. From the bottom of the community to the top, you'll find people who have actually galvanized, further the club, go to matches. They also do come to the stadium and do some of the community service that we also do to support the community. Man, man, firehouse, we say, you know, the life, you know, till the casket lock. And they have been that way since the days when there were no proper playing fields, when streets and schoolyards were the only playgrounds. And Emmett Park, as far away as central Kingston, was the home ground. We didn't wake up one day and say, let's go help Waterhouse. There's a series of events that led up to the process. <clears throat> we used to sponsor. We've always done things within the community around us. Um, <clears throat> down Olympic Gardens, we used to sponsor the club there. Then came along, um, I think the biggest inspiration was our help towards building the Arnett Garden football stadium. That was inspired by Omar Davis, who took my brother down there, who got involved. We brought a lot of sponsors down, and we built this, you know, very first world soccer stadium in the heart of Arnett Gardens, like an oasis. So, where, you know, we played matches. First time Tivoli was able to go to Arnett, so it broke down a lot of political barriers. And I didn't really know Waterhouse existed, truthfully, until one day the Waterhouse executives came and visited us, not just with uh, the normal begging brochure that everybody gets every day, but with a plan, with a, a design to build a stadium. Football in Waterhouse has come a far way since the Waterhouse FC came into being. The home ground has since been moved to Drewsland in the community. And for the 2003-2004 season, with the assistance of Tankwell, a mini stadium with a seating capacity of 5,000 was built. This was, you know, extremely innovative. Waterhouse was a dirt field behind the Drews Avenue School. And, you know, they're, they're a good team, always ended up in the top four. God knows how, because they always played at different venues. And they had this um, dirt field as their practice in base. So they brought this plan to us. <clears throat> and when we worked it out, it, um, the cost, we worked out the cost, it was close to a million US. 
I said, you got to be kidding. Anyway, we, I took it to my partners. We thought about it for a couple of days and took them, we all went down to Waterhouse. We saw, you know, the space was more than adequate to build a stadium with lights and stands. And it was bordering on a huge community called Waterhouse. And it also borders on um, other the Tower Hill, Olympic Gardens, all inner cities, um, which unfortunately is divided by corners. And so, you know, every now and again, you, you hear the gang violence and stuff. So we took it on and you know, give all the credit to these executives to, to you know, come with this initiative. And we took it on. We started building right away in February of 2003. And October 2003, we played our first match there while the stadium was still being built. In Waterhouse, the residents are always eager to lavish praises on Tankweld and its Bruce Bicknell, who became club chairman on completion of the stadium. Bruce Bicknell done a lot for the community. In terms of making the facility more appropriate, that's the players then can more comfortable and things like that. Mr. Tankwell man, the man is a helpful, helpful man at the place. The man is never ever call. You never stop call because right now I bring unity. Not stop bringing unity. The more the, 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 the more the, the place develop, advise the man does mash it down. This right now, the experience and the changing of clubs, the changing of the feel and all of that, it's good. So we respect the man there. Him are the bill man for Waterhouse. The chairman. The chairman for Waterhouse. Everybody was so excited, you know, because finally they had such an incredible facility. You know, they, you know, they're being separated from the rest of society in the, you know, concrete and darkness and nothing really to do, and they felt totally left out. And this stadium uh, was able to break down barriers. There's a lot of volunteers, critical, which you know, kind of helped to rid the culture of the handout mentality a huge extent, provide a lot of um, labor, and everybody got involved. It was really an unbelievable feeling um, how, you know, corporate Jamaica, you know, gave trust in us as a conduit and got involved, you know, lent us cranes, donated concrete, and we, um, we went and had to build the stadium. And it was just the best feeling of my life was watching that first game and the stadium was overflowing. I think we won that first game, six love. And the next game, three love and um, so forth. And in, within two years, we won the Premier League. We have had major sponsors, namely Dairy Industries, whose company is just next door to the field. We have Tankwell Metals. <coughs> This combination of Waterhouse, Bicknell and Tankweld have brought in new sponsors, more fans and have helped to put the community on the move. A move which played a major role in its becoming the Jamaica National Premier League winner in 2006. The JFF champions of 2008 and the under 21 champions for 2010. The same year when striker Kevin Lamy finished joint top goal scorer with 18 goals in the Premier League. Yeah, I've been playing for all those 15 seasons now. Um, uh, my accomplishment is the two Premier League titles, one in 96, 97, 98, and one recent 2005, 2006. You know, I've got a few accolades, individual accolades. You know, um, like MVP, leading goal scorer before. So um, it's a good club to play for. The community support the club very well. You know, and the management structure is very good. And we have a good youth system. So overall, it's a good club. I know that football is very important to the Waterhouse community. So today, today should be peace in the Waterhouse community. Yeah, definitely. These people, um, them live for football. They're passionate. 
As you can see, um, if you look across the community, most of the houses played in blue and yellow. That is team colour, you know, to show you how passionate these people are about them football.